Welcome to Mongolia, a land of endless blue skies, rugged landscapes, and one of the most unique cultures on earth. If you're planning a trip here or just curious about this incredible country, this video has you covered. In today's video, we're exploring 10 key things you need to know before visiting Mongolia. First, let's talk about timing. Mongolia has extreme seasons, and the best time to visit really depends on what you're looking for. Summer, from June to August, is peak travel season, with warm weather and access to festivals like Naadam in July. Summer is ideal for camping, trekking, and exploring the countryside. But if you're up for the challenge, winter, usually November through March, offers its own magic, with beautiful snowy landscapes and unique winter festivals. Just be ready for sub-zero temperatures. Ulaanbaatar, the capital of Mongolia, is also known as the coldest capital on earth. Next up, let's pack. Mongolia's weather changes drastically between day and night, so layering is essential. In summer, pack a mix of light clothes and warmer jackets for evenings. I visited Mongolia in August. I found myself wearing shorts and a t-shirt during the day and a light jacket with joggers at nighttime. Sunscreen and glasses are must-have since UV rays are strong, especially in the Gobi Desert. Don't forget to bring a basic first aid kit as medical services can be sparse outside the capital. Finally, bring bug repellent to keep the little guys away if you're planning on visiting in the summer. In winter, it's all about thermal wear, heavy coats, and sturdy gloves. Come prepared and the cold won't stop you from enjoying Mongolia's beauty. Now, let's talk about getting around. Mongolia's infrastructure can be rugged. Roads are often unpaved and journeys can take longer than you'd expect. Hiring a guide with a 4x4 is recommended, especially in the Gobi Desert as they know the terrain and can handle the rough roads. Especially in the Gobi Desert, it's difficult to navigate if you don't know the area well. Most of the Gobi is flat, and sometimes all directions that you look in appear to be exactly the same. Our 4x4 drivers had over a decade of experience and still had trouble one night taking us back to our gears or home for the night. GPS isn't reliable in remote areas, so having someone who knows the the land is a game changer and a lifesaver. For long distance travel, domestic flights are faster, but do keep in mind that they are sometimes delayed due to weather, especially in the winter time. Also, flights may be limited to only a handful of flights per week in remote areas, so check ahead to make sure that you plan your lodging accordingly. Accommodation in Mongolia is unlike anywhere else. In the countryside, traditional gear camps provide a truly authentic experience. Gears are circular nomadic houses. Mongolia nomads live in these gears during the summer and collapse them and move to their winter settlement in the winter time. However, modern gears are not taken down during the winter and provide modern accommodations. One of my gears in the Gobi Desert even had a bidet with a seat warmer. Staying in a gear, basically a Mongolian yurt, gives you a taste of the nomadic lifestyle. Just know that amenities might be basic. Many don't have running water and toilets can be simple outhouses. Bring your own toiletries and look out for frogs, spiders, and mice. Consider this part of your adventure. One of the best parts of visiting Mongolia is connecting with the culture. Nomadic families are famous hospitable, and it's polite to accept any food or drink offered to you, even if it's just a small sip or bite. When entering a gear, always step in clockwise and avoid stepping on the threshold, the wooden part of the gear jutting out of the floor in the entrance. Also, avoid leaning on the central supports. Mongolians say that if you trip on your way out of the gear, it's bad luck. But if you trip on your way into the gear, it's good luck. Mongolian culture blends Buddhism, shamanism, and traditional beliefs, so show your respect at monasteries and sacred sites throughout the country. Food in Mongolia is unique, with a heavy focus on meat and dairy, especially mutton or lamb. Vegans and vegetarians may find options limited outside of Ulaanbaatar, the capital city, so it's good to come prepared. One local drink you'll likely encounter is erag, which is fermented mare's milk. I tried this drink when we visited a family of horse breeders, and it has a slightly sour, tangy flavor, 
and is mildly alcoholic. Definitely an acquired taste. It's also great to try yak products such as yak milk, which tastes exactly like cow's milk. Yak butter, cheese, and vodka can also be enjoyed if the yak herding family is nice enough to share with you. Also, in rural areas, it's best to stick with bottled or boiled water, as sanitation can vary. Staying healthy and safe is key, especially in remote areas. If you're exploring high altitude areas like the Altai Mountains, take it slow and stay hydrated. In rural Mongolia, you may encounter guard dogs that protect the nomads' herds. These dogs can be large and protective, and they may have fleas, so don't approach them without permission. And as always, bring any personal medications as pharmacies can be hard to find outside of major cities. Interestingly, you can find horse pharmacies in Mongolia that have medications, accessories, and horse care products you never knew existed. Keep your eyes peeled. Festivals are a huge part of Mongolian culture, and if you time your trip right, you could experience some of these amazing events. The Naadam festival held every July celebrates traditional sports like wrestling, archery, and horse racing. It's an unforgettable spectacle. In October, the Golden Eagle Festival in Western Mongolia showcases the traditional skills of Kazakh nomads who hunt with trained eagles. These events are a fantastic way to dive deeper into Mongolia's traditions. During my stay, it was Korea week in Ulaanbaatar. In the town square, there were K-pop performances, Korean street food, and more. Check ahead to see which events you can enjoy during your stay. Internet access is limited outside of the capital, Ulaanbaatar. SIM cards are available, but coverage can be patchy in rural regions. For this reason, it's wise to download offline maps or navigation apps before you head out. In a place like Mongolia, disconnecting can actually enhance the experience, but it's good to have some way to stay in touch if needed. Finally, let's talk money. The local currency is the Mongolian Turuk, and while credit cards are accepted in Ulaanbaatar, cash is king in rural areas. Exchange your currency in the capital and bring enough cash for your travels outside the city. ATMs and exchange options are limited in remote areas, so plan ahead to avoid any hiccups. I found that exchanging my currency at the airport was the easiest and most convenient place to do so. Depending on the amount you exchange, you may not even be charged. And there you have it, 10 essential things to know before for visiting Mongolia. With its vast landscapes, rich culture, and one-of-a-kind traditions, Mongolia promises an adventure like no other. Click right here or click on the link in the description to watch my full tour of Mongolia, vlogging style. I'll also leave a list of gear and gadgets that I use to make these videos while I'm traveling. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below with any questions or travel tips of your own. Thanks for watching and happy travels in Mongolia.